Thank you for being here on Meteorologist Brian Shields. This spot in particular I am concerned about the potential of development. So thank you for sharing this information with others, especially along the northern Gulf. At the least, we're going to see really heavy rain moving in, but there is the potential of a named system. And these are tricky. Not all systems are easy to uh, forecast. Some are easier than others. This one is going to be quite difficult. I want to zoom down the possibilities here. And for us in the Caribbean, we have new tropical waves that are sliding in for the week ahead. Not seeing development, but it is clearly getting more active, especially across the Atlantic Basin. Here we are across the uh, Caribbean, heavy rain parts of Colombia. Uh, and then you can see here, just off toward the east of Barbados, there is the first tropical wave. This is going to bump up our rain chance tomorrow. We'll get another one sliding in Wednesday into Thursday. Look what's happening out here as we work our way into the tropical Atlantic. These tropical waves are now hanging together. A lot of blobs out there. One tropical wave here. This is the one that will increase our chance of rain tomorrow for some of us. Another one back behind it and then more tropical waves to watch. Right now, I'm not seeing any development out of these, but no doubt it is getting more active out there. So as these start to head in, I'll be watching out for the chance of some flooding and I'll be monitoring for the chance of some development. Not seeing big signs of that out in the tropical Atlantic right now, but this here is the European model and it is showing increased development, at least the chance of some increased uh, development watching near the southeast U.S. and the northern Gulf. It's running at about a 30% chance of this area developing. As I mentioned, it's going to be tricky. The American model and the European model is not showing a lot of development out of this area, while the ICON model, which I'll show you, is showing a lot of development. So they're very split. But that is common with an area that's trying to develop near land. It's very tricky for the models. That's why I'm watching everything behind the scenes uh, to give you a heads up. If I do believe this will develop, I'll let you know right here first. Let me show you the American model now. Show the European models hinting at some development, uh, but not showing a lot. It's very similar to this. The fronts are up to the north, but what's going to happen is high pressure builds in temporarily. That could allow this area just to kind of sit out in the northern Gulf for a few days. If that happens, it'll feed off the very warm water, which I'll show you, and I'll show you the wind shear as well, and it could develop. But for the most part, the American model and the European model saying, hey, yes, this is going to be a big rainmaker. The fronts will be up to the north. It'll be a big rainmaker, but not a lot of development because it is going to be developing so close to land. It may not have enough time to feed off of the uh, warm water temperatures. You see here, this is by Wednesday, still watching out for an area of rain, and then Wednesday Wednesday into Thursday, this is going to shift further back into parts of the northern Gulf, but not showing big signs of development, but it really has my attention. I want to caution you again in the northern Gulf to please monitor this. Yes, it could just be a sloppy rainmaker. That is a higher possibility, but there is the chance that this does develop into a tropical storm if it sits over these warm water temperatures. And there's not a ton of time between now and say Thursday. So please, again, just spread the word about this area. Not that there's anything imminent, not that there's anything scary, uh, but we do need to be aware at this point in certain spots for the possibility of development. Here's the Icon German model. It does show a scarier, uh, a scarier scenario, uh, but the Icon model sometimes does a good job picking up on development when other models kind of lag behind, keeping an eye on the tropical waves moving into the Caribbean. But here's the spot near the northern Bahamas and Florida working across by tomorrow. This is our Tuesday big sloppy rainmaker. Now, today into tomorrow, if I see this starting to develop, that is telling me that the ICON model is uh, correct. If uh, over the next 24 hours there's not a lot of development, it's probably just going to be a sloppy rainmaker. So the next 24 hours are key for what will happen. The ICON model saying this will start to develop over the next 24 hours and then by Wednesday quickly developing into a tropical depression or tropical storm in the northern Gulf. Yes, this is a scarier scenario having a quick name system, but nothing's quick if you watch this channel. I'm giving you the heads up that this is a possibility, right? And it is hard for these models and it's hard for me to know which one's going to happen sloppy rainmaker or a tropical storm because again it is developing so close to land but this hasn't developed further i mentioned that area of high pressure to the north by thursday if this area does start to develop it could just continue to develop potentially into a tropical storm or even potentially into a hurricane that can't be ruled out it is not likely but it cannot be ruled out because with this area of high pressure, it may keep this area of low pressure, which is a storm system, sitting over the warm water for 
a little bit longer. That is a concern. Yes, I don't know which one is going to happen at this point, but as I mentioned, over the next 24 hours, nonstop behind the scenes I'm watching, if I see any signs of development uh, just over the next 24 hours, this scenario would be more likely. When I join you on the next video, if there's not signs of development, it would be more likely that this would just be a sloppy uh, rainmaker. So what I'm letting you know is over the next 24 hours, I'm watching it. I'll have a very good handle on this, uh, no doubt by tomorrow, but nonstop keeping an eye on this. And here's the the concern I have is that if this area is able to just kind of work its way over the uh, water, that water is so very warm. We're looking at right around 90 degrees right in this pocket here. So that adds the fuel to these systems. These systems need to feed off of warm water, but it's not just what's happening at the surface. I'm watching what's happening above our heads. And another concern is there's not a lot of wind shear. So if this area sits over the warm water, the wind shear, for example, uh, would be this deep red shading we're seeing here. Here's Jamaica, just south of Jamaica. Those are winds above our heads that can knock off a developing system. And the showers and storms build up. A lot of wind shear up there is a good thing. Kind of knocks them uh, off, uh, prevents them from developing further. But over here, by the time we get into Thursday and Friday in the Northern Gulf, there's not substantial wind shear. So another reason that this area may develop as we work our way toward the middle and end of the week. But at the least, what I do know is that this is gonna be a pretty big rainmaker, right? For parts of the Northern Gulf, you get back toward uh, New Orleans. We'll keep an eye on uh, uh, Baton Rouge, uh, New Iberia, and then swinging back toward our friends in Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle of Florida, where we're going to get some totals, four, five, six, Six inches of rain. This is obviously a spot we could handle some rain for the most part, but these could be very substantial totals as we go through the end of the week, depending on what develops or doesn't develop. But the next 24 hours, that'll be uh, critical. So again, thank you for your patience. I know uh, this time of year, there's a lot going on and you know I'm doing my best to try to sort through it. Dexter is the next name on the list. We had Andrea, Barry, Chantal. Chantal formed in kind of a similar area, similar scenario. Dexter is the next name up. So if this area does get a name later this week, it would be Dexter. Now here's the spot we're watching up here. With that, that does add a little instability back toward parts of Cuba, Jamaica. We're going to be looking at some scattered areas of storms in the new tropical waves getting very active as I mentioned in the tropical Atlantic will start to work in so let me get into our Tuesday this is tomorrow spotty showers no signs of development but spotty showers in the eastern Caribbean but look at the central and western sections of Cuba very heavy rain and thunderstorms sloppy mess to the north back through the keys into the north tail end of it though we could get some stronger storms a little extra instability lift in the atmosphere storms like to build up. That could give us a better chance of some thunderstorms in through here. Then by Wednesday, you could see a better chance of rain moving into parts of Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Puerto Rico, right down through Dominica, St. Lucia with another tropical wave. Trinidad, I'm going to keep an eye on how much of this rain from Guyana will be working in later this week. We'll monitor that flood threat together and then obviously watching this area that is sitting up to the north. So it is going to get more active as the week goes on for us across especially the eastern Caribbean. Now this is the the spot we're monitoring to the north are some fronts sweeping by New Brunswick will get some showers Newfoundland uh, later today but a severe weather threat possible New England mid-Atlantic couple of those storms could be quite strong in parts of Canada it's been very active uh, from west all the way to the east Alberta yesterday we had some severe weather even some hail and then this here watching a flood threat Mexico we're going to continue with some of that rain just kind of building in this here is by tomorrow and you see by tomorrow this is the spot trying to shift back toward the northern gulf north of it some heavier rain possible the mid-atlantic and then swinging back toward the midwest even some isolated severe storms watching out for this area moving uh, by parts of uh, quebec and ontario but this is that uh, surge of rain that we're going to see right through mexico but look how it builds to the north so uh we'll be watching this area no doubt but watching out for several fronts but this spot in here and i'll show you the rain totals in parts of texas texas new mexico mexico itself watching out for some additional flooding, even some severe weather trying to curl back toward parts of Colorado over the next few days. And you could see some of that rain. Keep an eye on Texas, New Mexico. This spot here in the Eastern Pacific, not seeing much in the way of development, but swinging back toward Mexico City and off toward the West, better chance of that rain just pumping in. You see those big storms, parts of Central Texas at times, watching over toward parts of Mexico and then trying to lift up toward parts of Arizona and New Mexico, scattered areas of rain just kind of lifting up to the 
north. This is by Wednesday. This spot here, though, not really seeing much in the way of development out of that area. Seas are going to get a bit choppier as we work our way through the Caribbean and the Atlantic passageways the next few days. I'll get to the rain totals in a second. Things will be a bit bumpier just with these new tropical waves moving in. This up here will be a question mark for how elevated the seas go. Obviously, if something develops, those seas will be uh, even higher. But watching these significant rain totals that will be in some spots, three, four, five inches of rain, especially if we get some of those embedded thunderstorms, hit or miss parts of Jamaica could have a spot getting 50 plus uh, millimeters of rain while others just staying on the dry side. Scattered storms, Cuba, hit or miss Haiti, the DR, Puerto Rico. But later in the week, it is going to start to build back in. So St. Martin, St. Bart, St. Croix, St. Thomas, we could get some spots over 50 millimeters of rain mid to late week as we watch these new tropical waves moving in. Trinidad, I'll see how much rain kind of lifts in. For the most part, Dominica South, some spots could get around 25 millimeters of rain the next two days. But Guyana and Suriname, as I mentioned yesterday, flood threat higher. Inland sections of uh, Venezuela have been monitoring the flooding, as I showed you earlier in Colombia. And still some heftier totals, Panama, uh, Costa Rica, southern Nicaragua. But rain chance backing off some. Belize, just a spotty shower or two. Same thing in Honduras. But this is where the really heavy stuff will be. Some spots upwards of 150 millimeters of rain just feeding up to the north. And you see these spots again in parts of Texas and in parts of New Mexico, that could be over two, three inches of rain, maybe four, five inches in some spots, and then monitoring this sector here where we could get some bigger rain totals, and then again up through parts of the mid-Atlantic with those scattered storms. So Jamaica, with this area just to the north, little more instability for us. So 40 to 50% chance of scattered uh, showers and storms, about a 20, maybe 30% chance back through the Cayman Islands. And you see, as the week goes on, Trinidad and Tobago, our rain chance is going to start to bump up by Wednesday, a 40% chance. Barbados watching that tropical wave that is just off to the east. Same thing in St. Lucia. Not as much today, but we start to see that rain chance gradually building. Grenada as we go throughout the week. St. Vincent of the Grenadines watching out for that chance of scattered showers as that week goes on. Just a 20% chance today in Martinique, but we're up to a 40% chance on Wednesday. A 50% chance by Wednesday in Dominica. May even have to bump up these uh, rain chances depending on how these tropical waves hang together. Guadalupe 50% chance by the time we get into Wednesday. Rain chance will gradually start to tick up as the week goes on. Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Montserrat. Some of us really need to get some of the rain. You see in Guilla, we could be up to about a 50% chance. Same thing in St. Bart's by Wednesday, bumping up as well. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. And just an isolated storm today in Puerto Rico. But as the week goes on, we'll get a better chance. And by Wednesday, could see some scattered showers. U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 60% chance across the Bahamas. That is split, though. Again, northern Bahamas with this area that's trying to develop. We have a better chance of rain. Freeport, New Providence, Turks and Caicos could see a couple scattered showers around today. Watching out for some thunderstorms as the week goes on. Uh, back across the uh, DR, 20 to 30 percent chance of a pop-up storm back through Haiti. Belize, though, our rain chance not super high, just about a 30 percent chance. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire rain chance stays kind of limited, holding at a 20 percent chance. With that said, later this week, we'll see how those tropical waves do as they start to move in. But Guyana, that flood threat will be on the higher side the next two days, and that does include Suriname. And this is some of the rain. I'll be seeing how close it gets to Trinidad as our week builds in. Scattered thunderstorms right back through Cuba. 50 to 60 percent chance down some Costa Rica and Panama. 50 to 60 percent chance in Nicaragua. And about a 40 percent chance of some scattered showers back through Honduras. 30 to 40 percent chance Guatemala and El Salvador. And then you see right across Mexico City monitoring those areas of flooding. We've had some big flooding around the last few days. Meanwhile, over toward Merida, Campeche, uh, uh, Cancun, Cozumel, rain chance staying on the low side. Northern Colombia, 40% chance, 50 to 60% chance in northern Venezuela, and an isolated shower possible as we work our way back through Bermuda. So development a little bit more likely, again, pulling back into the northern uh, and eastern Gulf, where something could try to develop the next two days. The next 24 hours will be critical. I'll be watching that, those very warm water temperatures, the low wind shear, watching all of those environmental ingredients and those new tropical waves to watch moving into the Caribbean throughout the week. So we have a busy week ahead. Again, thank you for sharing this information. Have a good start to your week.